I hope that you can't hear the washing machine in the background. I literally chose the worst possible moment to record this, but it was either record this now or don't record it at all. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Hopefully you can't hear it too much, but it's like proper spinning at the minute. Um, so the video is a bit weird this week. Um, the, there's nothing to see, to be honest. I, I had a really good journaling session on Sunday. Um, I did my weekly spread and then I did a couple of spreads in my common place, uh, which I'm actually really, really happy with. Um, I had a really good time working on them. But other than that, I spent the whole of Monday revising for uh, my developmental biology exam that I then took on Tuesday. And then I took the rest of Tuesday kind of to rest and like reset the house a bit. Um, Wednesday and Thursday I spent sorting out the last of my histology notes, which I then got printed yesterday as well. So it's just been uni work all week. Um, I've had a really like productive week, but also it's been a week of rest. Uh, it feels a bit like um, counterintuitive to say, but I've had, I was really focused um, when working what like revising and when working on these notes, which I haven't been in a, in a good few weeks. Um, I think because the, the topics were quite interesting um, for, for my exam that I took on Tuesday. And then I think sorting out notes is a more like active process than studying, um, at least for me, like because I have something to do with my hands, like typing and moving pictures and stuff. It keeps me more focused than studying does. Um, so I had a really good time, like focus wise. I wasn't as all over the place as I normally am. Um, in air quotes, I guess, because I did get distracted on Monday, bought knitting needles and then spent half of Tuesday knit knitting something. Uh, we're not gonna talk about that. If I end up making something cool, I'll, I will eventually share that, but that was like a bit of a random thing. Um, but other than that, I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> like I was just resting, literally. Um, the only painting I did was the one that you just saw, which I did like five minutes ago. Um, there's not much other journaling stuff, I think. Other than what I did on Sunday, I'm not sure if I ended it here on Sunday and then um, added this other bit later, but that's that's about it. Um, I put a quote here that I found in my histology notes, like my teacher had put that um, in one of his lecture notes and I really liked it. So I added it in my book, but then the only other thing in here is my histology study and revision plan. So I do this all the time and it's the last time I'm gonna have to do it for the semester. I'm so excited about it. I got my notes printed, sorted them out, like dividing them by day. I'm also almost done with the book. Um, I have like a couple of spreads left. Uh, I'm gonna finish it this weekend. I thought I was gonna finish it sooner to be honest. Um, first of all, considering like how I started, which it, I, if you remember, like I did the whole first half of, half of the book in like a week. But then with exams and all of that and like this week I was just resting so I didn't really have anything to write about. And last week I was again just like studying and I, I did a bit of writing on like the concert and music and painting and stuff, but also like I I've not I've not been I don't feel like I've been journaling too much lately, um, which is alright. It's fine. Um, I did, however, I don't think I've shown you. Maybe you saw something when I was working on it on on Sunday, but I don't think I've I've talked about it properly. So last week I I started this other book, which is my traveler's notebook. Um, weekly plus memo, like the second part of it, the, I think it's July to December book. Since I wasn't, I'm not using it anymore as my planner because I'm now into the Hobonichi weeks. Um, I decided to use that as like memory keeping. So I'm doing daily journaling on this side. And then the idea is that at the weekend I can print out some pictures that I took during the week and write a bit more about it. Like kind of uh, like a reflection on the week, if you will. Uh, so I backfilled the previous week, the previous week. Um, this was last week. Um, there's an empty spot here because I, uh, if you saw last week's video on Sunday, I went on a really nice mo uh, like motorbike trip with my parents. Um, we went like just over the border with France to have a picnic, uh, and it was really lovely. And I took some like, some nice photos that I wouldn't print out. But after we like when we came home from that, I rushed, got uh, like showered, and then got ready and r like ran to take the train to come here again. Uh, because I had to spend the rest of Sunday like revising for my exam on Tuesday. So I didn't have time to print out photos from that. So I'm going to do that this weekend and kind of finish those up. But I really like it. Um, I'm using colored 
uh, pens on this side. I use a really nice deep green on this side. And then for the previous week, I use a really nice, like, uh, brick red, which I, is one of my favorite colors. Uh, and I'm gonna keep up with that. I'm not gonna get too colorful, but I have a few pens that I like. Uh, this is this week so far. I'm gonna, again, just print out more pictures. Um, this weekend i'm going to a concert tonight as well so that's going to be more concert pics um and then i'm on track with it so far um so today's friday so that's i'm not being too strict about it like if i have a day where i have more to write and i kind of um like go over to the next day it's fine um but i just want to have like a couple of sentences about each day um to sort of remember about it I'm also not going to go too sticker heavy, I just, um, yeah, I'm kind of just having fun with it. I wasn't going to put the sticker here, but I, um, it was stained with something oily, I can't, I don't really know what that was, so I put a bit of a bigger sticker on here, but it didn't show up on this side, fortunately, so that's good. I'm happy with where it's going, I think it's going to be a really nice fun and like fun book to flip through at the end of the year, hopefully if I can keep up with it. Um, I did also add... Uh, like memory keeping, I, I, I wrote journal without without an N. <laughs> I just realized, uh, but I did add that um, in my like weekly task list, so I can kind of remember to do that every day. Uh, I'm doing it every couple of days, um, which I'm is fine. Like that was kind of the plan, um, so that's cool. Other than that, not much going on to be honest. Um, I, I have like half an hour before I have to go out and get the train to go back for the weekend so I'm gonna do a little bit of um not backfilling but like a little bit of journaling in this book which if you remember when I first switched um the whole idea was that I was gonna have a bit more space at the back of this book to transfer over information from previous common places and I've done absolutely none of that so far uh, which is wonderful uh, but I want to make um, like a, a big list of drawing and painting ideas because there's a lot like just everywhere in these books that I kind of want to transfer over um, so then I can properly archive these which for now they've just been in my drawer I've not really even been looking at them a lot just because I've not had a lot of time to do anything other than uni work at the minute um, like I've been painting here and there but it's not been I've had ideas and I've been putting them down but I've not had a lot of time to actually work through them I suppose um, but I'm, I'm happy they're somewhere but I also would like them to like be all together in one place so I'm just gonna go through all of my um, like orange tagged entries which are like painting ideas and brainstorming and stuff and put them all together in a bit more of a concise list um, on the note of like uni things, I'm actually really happy with how my exam session has been going. I've taken nine exams out of ten at the minute and I was thinking about it this morning. Um, this time last year, I had just taken my last exam of the session, so on the 14th of July I think, and I was, I was meant to take another one like the week after and I didn't because I was so like burnt out. I just didn't have it in me anymore and I ended up also retaking two other exams that I'd taken in July um, in September. So I had three exams to take in September and the whole idea for this exam session, even though I had so many more, like I had twice as much, um, twice as many exams as I did last year, I really did not want to have any in September because I just want to be able to enjoy my holidays all of August and all of September, um, which I did last year, but also I spent all of September studying and then October we start lectures and I got to December and I was so tired like I just had no I had nothing left and I did not want to do that this year so I, I wanted to give it my all this summer session but I think I've actually paced myself really well like I thought I was gonna get to this point and just like this last exam is a big one and I thought I was gonna get to this point and I wouldn't even be able to think about taking it because I, I wouldn't have any energy. Um, I'm still, I'm, a, I'm in a good place, uh, which I wasn't expecting. I think I paced myself really well. And like, I haven't been doing a lot of art, but I've still been making art here and there. And I think journaling has helped a lot. I wasn't journaling this time last year and I think that's helped a lot. 
uh, both planning wise but also just being able to process things and get my thoughts out um, and so I'm happy about that. Um, that was a bit of a random tangent, but I wanted to, to share that because I'm, I was thinking about it this morning and I'm really happy about it. Um, so that's that. <laughs> that's kind of like a, a check-in on how things are going. I am gonna go do a bit of journaling and then I'm gonna go back home. I have a concert tonight, which I'm very excited for. I'm seeing John Butler again, which um, I saw last year as well uh, with my dad and it was, it's the best concert I've ever been to and I'm very excited to to see him again. It's he's one of my like top two favorite artists So I'm very excited to, to see him again um, And it's meant to be quite a small venue as well. I think so that'll be nice um, And it's quite close to home too. So we're not meant to get back home too late, which I appreciate um, Probably gonna take a bit more time to rest this weekend I think I've, I think I've had a really good balance between work and rest is what I, I guess I was trying to say so I'm happy about that um and that's, that's about it for the week. Um, again, I've just been rambling for like a quarter of an hour. So um, I hope that you're doing well. I am going to stop rambling and I will see you next week. Bye.
Thank <laughs> you.